Hey, how you doing? It's your favorite co-host. Oh, Jackie so, Rickard and Brian Noto. And we're back. We're back. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're moving along. One of the projects that we started working on uh, was installing Tesla chargers. Uh -huh. I don't know what we were talking about, but we were just going through it and trying to figure out how we were going to have them all set up and where they were going to place and yeah. how we were going to wire it all. And then I guess it came up yeah, during like, a conversation with Jono. Yeah, just like yeah, with Jono, like what to do, what could we do to be cool? And like we were talking, you know, we've, we're doing the 2.0 of everything. You know, they've got the podcast out. We've got EV the TV, brand, yeah. the brand, everything. But we always want to have that feel and kind of pay homage, the homage yeah. to where we came from. We always, even though it's been, you know, what, 2009, 14 years, yeah. I guess, since we've been doing this. It just, we just, we always want to kind of stay grounded yeah. in, in our roots, but do fun stuff. Do fun stuff. And so one of the things that you guys had worked on pretty early on, if not just like right in the beginning. To 2011. 2011. Uh, yes, we started building our own. Gas charger using the like, gas pump. Like retro gas yeah. pump uh, charging stations, yeah. So we had some just kind of sitting around and they were great dust collectors, I guess. But Yeah, the one with the plasma ball is on the set. Cool. You've seen yeah. that one. And then we had another one. We had the very first one down at the house that somehow magically disappeared. Um, we've aliens beamed it up. We don't know. Satan. But it, <laughs> <laughs> Satan, Satan came down and well up and grabbed it into the earth and the bowels of the it earth. Just yeah. we it just swallowed itself whole. What yeah, it disappeared. Yeah. yeah, it looked like tremors. Yeah, but we just had this old uh, Chevy yep. charger gas pump. We got this guy. We're thinking about doing something with it. We're not sure. And we really can't talk about it, what we would do with it, because then it wouldn't be any fun and we'd have to eliminate you from all temple walls, obelisks and clay tablets. Uh, kind of just came up that maybe we would redo it. Just do a 2.0. Yeah, and actually use it kind of as like a pedestal yes. instead of just purchasing one. So Brian's been kicking ass on it. <laughs> I've been kicking something. Kicking ass, <laughs> taking names. So should we? Like Let's I guess, do it. I guess on three. One, one two, two, three. Oh my. Looks like Superman, right? What, kind what of is old it? school 1950s diner type look. Yeah, I mean, kind of reminds us back uh, the DC 3s that Jack used to fly and, you know, that kind of stuff. But it's Superman a little bit. <laughs> um, we're assuming we're going to get in some kind of trouble, we hope. Sorry. <laughs> but, Don't be mad. You know, do what you want and eat what they bring you. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's good enough for government work. <laughs> so we. You know, we, we, we want to show you, too, what the pump looked like before. So let's take a couple minutes and uh, yeah, see what the 1.0 version of this was. Successful. No one seems to be using it at this, uh, at this turn. Right now, the Society of Automotive Engineers, SAE, uh, are in a balloting process for a new electrical connector for electric vehicles. Uh, called J1772. We use uh, just a 15 amp, 120 volt AC receptacle on our Porsche. Now, that gives us the widest flexibility, but it's not really the best connector. Um, it's a little lightweight for some of these things with a 24 kilowatt package. Uh, we're only drawing about 10 amps at 240 volts, so we pretty much get away with it. But as the battery packs get larger, we're going to need a little heavier duty current. And that brings us to the charge station. It's not a charger. It's simply an AC connection. But when you're hooking up that kind of power for convenience, um, there's some niceties that you can include in it. And we'll talk about those a little bit. What I've done is instead of the brushed aluminum charge station that the BMW Mini E and the Tesla uh, use, is I've uh, picked up a uh, replica, a reproduction of an old 1950 style uh, computer, what they used to call a computer face. Uh, this one is now, but uh, they used to call it a computer face uh, because it had these digits um, gas pump. We found a fella in Hickory, uh, North Carolina, who was making these um, and selling them. They're not the original pumps, and I wouldn't probably do this to uh, an actual vintage pump, but since these were a replica, I didn't have any uh, uh, problems uh, uh, doing modifications to it. So, 
That's it. I mean, that was kind of, it was clunky. It was, you know, that was Jack's design. I built it, but it was very analog. Yeah. Um, you know, we had the DC to DC converter in there. We had the 240 power running through there. We needed 12 volt for the lights. Right. Contactors everywhere. But that was how we did the handoff with the original EVSE. We have it in there. Uh, 1.0, the very first ones that they did that were clunky. Now they're you know, about as big as a, you know, matchbook if you can find one. Yeah. But so that's how we did it. And that's how we built all three of them. And um, yeah, it kind of it kind of worked. But it was this was a lot different. Yeah, this one was just kind of sitting at the entrance of the shop and then had some decals on it, some stickers, had a different it had like a Chevrolet plate. Yeah. Yeah, this this place, um, we've always liked their quality a gas pump heaven. I can't remember if they're in Nebraska or something, but they, they you know, we bought three of them from them. They're awfully pricey, but they're they're cool. And it was a good way to install a charger out here. One of the issues was that we weren't sure how we could bring it out if we would have to just take it out every day without it getting stolen. Yes, exactly. So this one's bolted down. This one's bolted down to newly wall. laid concrete. And yeah. then they drilled a hole through the wall. And Which is always the fun part. Yeah. Especially when you can't see both sides of the wall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one's on the outside, one's on the you're inside. Like, you don't know what you're going to be drilling into. <laughs> yeah, Let's see. This is an old building with... Sparks start flying, <laughs> yeah, things yeah. catch fire. Yeah. No, uh, it yeah. didn't happen like that. It was actually really well yeah, it was, done. It, I almost broke the drill bit off of my hand, but that's okay. No, no big deal. You know. Live dangerously. That's my middle name. Right. So we did this, and uh, so we just came up with doing a pedestal, and it's it really does mimic the same design, um, and maybe we should show you kind of what we did now that we've unveiled it. Um, yeah. Let's show you how we wired it inside and, and what it looked like. First, we decided, because it was a, the option between the J1772 yep. plug and then the regular Tesla plug. So it's just sitting in this window so you can kind of see it charging and then had to re-thread through their charging cable. Mm -hmm. And it's got the holster over here. But yeah, added in a little Edison looking LED yeah. light bulb. Yeah, put we, some decals on there. Yeah, we put, yeah. Uh, Jackie put together a, uh, yeah counterfeit Tesla logo, uh, just, just in case you're curious. Anybody at Tesla? No. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. We actually about. love you. <laughs> we love you, Elon. That's All right. right. That's right. So yeah, you can uh, kind of see the progression of it, but we decided to also put it up on the website. Mm -hmm. You guys can check it out. Yep. Um, we can do a custom if you wanted to and use yep. whatever plug or yep. anything like that. Yeah, I mean, we, we can do, you know, we can do anything with it. This, this was kind of cool, so we've prototyped it. Now we can do the new Tesla, even the old even the old one, if you have one, Gen 2 or just Gen 3 in here. Yeah. But yeah, but you can do anything in there. We could do another charging station. Um, we can do, if you want it to look more like the gas pump with the decals, If you we want can your do face that. printed on it could, or something, could, uh, 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 like whatever you guys feel like. A, a pithy saying, <laughs> you know, anything that you really want. But I, we, if you really want us to do it, um, I think what did we say like, we could start at like twenty five hundred bucks and yeah. go up from there. It's depending on what kind of customization. Yeah, what stuff. kind of customization and what kind of you know interior you want in terms of your charging yeah. abilities and things. But one but, of the other things I think that brought it up was a good point from Jono because he has the Model X. Mm -hmm. And he was talking about, cause he's just moved into a new place and he's having to run an extension cord from the house cause there's no spot for him to really install it. Yeah. And it's not easily accessible. Um, run an extension cord from the house and just charge it off of a 110. Yeah. So it, that's kind of that, a pain. And that's a big pack to charge yeah. on a 110. Yeah. yeah. And this is kind of like a funkier, unique way of having your own pedestal. Uh, and, and, and even though this is you know, it run through conduit and everything. We still ran cable, yeah, and then with a plug on the end and have it into a regular, you know, functioning 240 yeah. outlet. So, you know, when when we built ours originally, at the bottom over here where we have our uh, dust to dawn sensor so that the light goes on and off at night, um, is where we brought the actual cable to plug it in, in and out. So we can do that. We can. Do one again, 120 to have lights. Make it a longer yeah, cable. Yeah, we can make it longer. It needs to be run. If if you need to have it more portable or things like that. So we, you know, we're we're open. We don't know. It's 
nobody may care, but maybe some of you might. You and know, if and not, I think it's hella cool, so. Yeah, it, it is kind of cool. I mean, it's kind of like a Superman pedestal out here. Yeah. You know, or else. Uh, That's like not going to go anywhere. <laughs> not going to go anywhere. Yeah, like a Fritz Lang 1920s <laughs> movie of, you know, uh, Metropolis or yeah. whatever. But um, we don't know. We, we have to have fun every now and then here, you know. Yeah, we might have to mount a screen so people can come up and do like a drive-in and then they can just plug in. <laughs> it's like they're at... The old uh, drive-in movies, you know, yeah, exactly. with your EV charging yep. while you wait. So that would be a fun, fun thing to do. But yeah, check it out, the progression, and then even some homage to the beginning videos that yep. you and Dad had. But yep. yeah, let yep. us know. Okay. Until next time. All right, we'll see ya.